Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Old World, our Carthaginians and yeah, the Oxhide campaign scenario one. We're here with Bommelka the new and we are probably in the last turns would be maybe a little bit premature but we're definitely on the verge of like finalizing all our goals despite having one undiscovered goal over here the others are in very close reach we've got 45 turns left that's absolutely no problem so just this one is gonna decide rather yeah if we gotta fully succeed or not and yeah let's just jump already right in and see where we go so we can get us to the next scenario soon um yeah Probably some episodes here still to go, so we will see. Um, we've got zero orders at the moment, so... Let's go and see what's up, what's happening. Alright, um, Duchess Arishad, our cousin, has becoming a Carthaginian pagan, alright. And we've got luxurious trade. A bustling horde of merchants from the Numidians enter the court bearing news that comes unexpectedly, but not unpleasantly. It seems they wish to cultivate a new industry in Takape. Their tradesmen would provide the necessary essentials while you would front the monetary expenses. Alright, uh, okay, we get like a source of dye or um, pearls, pro probably. I mean, we have to have 3,000 money, but we can easily spend this. Let's have a quick look. Taka appears, of, of, unfortunately, not the Fisher place. Um, what do we do? We have pearls. Uh, I mean, in the end, probably it's not going to matter, but I'd rather play this correctly. So we've got dice, dice, dice out here. And do we have pearls in reach? Actually not. So I'm definitely going to go for the pearls over here. Yeah, and let's get the... Oh uh, yeah, actually let's get the pearls in. Okay, her mother's disposition. Representatives from the academy arrive at the court bearing news of Duchess Arishat. She has been well and is turning out to be as wise as her mother, Queen Doa Dawa Gadaido. Duchess Arishat is student. Very nice, she gets an extra wisdom. And we've got foreign fighters. After much consideration, military advisor to a lot of Hipporegios proposes incorporating fighters from conquered nations into our army. She believes this action would swell our ranks considerably. While the idea shows promise, our noble families may not approve. Um, a larger army is the highest uh, priority. Or this would set a dangerous precedent. Uh, I think we don't need the army right now. I'd rather get the family opinions up and yeah. Exactly, legitimacy is always nice to have. So this is what we're gonna go uh, do. And here we are, um, right back uh, in the turn. Let's have a quick look. Like last turn, we discovered uh, the last, or probably last Libyan outpost up here. Uh, maybe let's make sure it is the last. It looks pretty much like it. These guys, however, need to go back and heal at some point, or at least um, protect the city side. Whilst we need these warriors at the front to wipe out the Libyans over here to finally have peace at this front. Um, are we producing a settler already? There's a one in six years for here, okay. Ah. Alright, let's have a look what else we can do over here. We finished a garrison, okay, nice to see. And we can build... Ah, uh, yeah, we've, we finished politism, so we need to build more shrines. Let's have a quick look. I will build probably even more since... Um, yeah, why not? Actually, we can, and um, I'm playing this... Uh, of course, I envisage the, the targets, but I would I play it also as it would be a permanent game. And I don't know if the next scenario we're taking over our settlements from this turn, or if we are taking a complete new setup. I, uh, we, we shall see. Okay, here we get uh, Jason Grove bonuses, so definitely here very interesting since we've got two potential groves right here. Oh, wait. Um, ah, no, this is uh, actually, this just looks like it we have, but still, we've got two potential groves, so over here we will build the uh, Shrine of Eshmun. Let's go over here, what we've yeah, here we also finished the garrison. Oh, it looks like we can we can get out a couple of new um, um, a couple of new um, nah, what do you call governors? All right. So here's a new ah, this is the new event net possibility. So probably we can build like the Fisher Shrine over here. But let's get the 
nets out first. It's just three years very quickly. <laughs> Over here we finished the pasture. Um, in Hipporegius, do we have... Uh, we've got for adjacent pastures, so why would we build it over here if we can build it down here? I'd say that's pastures, 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 Balhamon, yeah. We want to get those wonderful um, shrines out, so that's what we're gonna do. A theater, okay. Um, yeah, but also come on in Carthage. We also want more of the shrines since we have the um, wonderful polytheism out now. And uh, there's Tanit is still possible for adjacent resources, okay, plus 10, where do we have a lovely spot for this? Here, 20 extra, so then let's do that, which will, for like, removing the trees and building it, will also end up our orders. How many governors can we get out? Ooh. Probably don't even have our, uh, governors out there since there's nobody really like presenting us the idea of let's have a look um why is it not being out here normally it would show that we can get some um yeah some some dudes out nevertheless then we shall do it ourselves so let's have a look where was the other here in hadromatum also no um, sorry guys, I want to investigate this quickly. We've got a governor, a governor here, we've got one there. And we, we are missing one here, and we are probably missing one down here. Is, which one was? Yeah, here we've got the Gerizion as well. So two to get out. Okay, let's prioritize maybe this and start the uh, temple next turn. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So Takape, who might be very helpful here. Yeah, I guess then Duchess, Nas Duchess Nasma for sure. Ah, oh, it's not being indicated since we are lacking the uh, civics to get governors out. All right, guys, then I will go back here and build actually a Shrine of Tanit here in this case. Yep. And this means we're already at the end of our orders for this turn, so let's go into the next one. Oh, I, of course I forgot to build the... No, we did already, right? We need another ship to actually get those guys over here to Sicily. But actually, I feel like... Ah, it's actually these black borders. We can't even get to Sicily, so forget about these plans. Well, this might be something for the next scenario. Nevertheless, let's end the year. We're gonna attack over here, and we have to send something to Tyra again. Um, that was fairly easy the last time, so we keep on sending, I guess, food since, yeah. Can easily afford this, and wonderful. And now we've got the Civic, so I think let's get, now we're gonna get Duchess Nasma in over here. Our intelligence, and the intelligent person that also helps out with the happiness. So this is our first move. Um... Let's have a look at our military first. Let's try to finish those guys off um, as soon as possible. Yeah, you guys need to heal. Probably, yeah, six years. When is the settler coming in? five years yeah we can't get him down that quickly so potentially we have to protect the site my i'm just wondering if i'd rather actually i'm probably gonna send them here heal and send them back there fast and just in case i'll bring up also two warriors so this should be no problem at all let's have a look what we can do over here since we cannot go over here anyways then i shall just explore here the the wastelands let's say but just move them up Okay, we will not find the Romans in this very scenario, which is fine for me. And over here we finished a miner. So... Oh, this is also pearls. Ah, here's a pearl town. That's interesting. But I'd say let's get the pearls in then also to our... Yeah. So we can actually uh, utilize these, these luxuries. And we've got three left, so... My, my cousin can be tutored. 
think money we can definitely afford. I think my cousin shall shall not be tutored by myself, but takes yeah, it takes two orders, so we we, we can't continue with that this time. All right, <clears throat> let's move on to the next turn. Libyan counterattack, of course, um, and the family retreat. This is the second year that the Hanunid and Magonid families have spent the summer month together in, at a lavish estate in the hills. Their cooperation in court continues to strengthen, diminishing your authority. Wait, uh, the... We, we are... Barkid family, okay. Um, what happens at these private gatherings? What are the Hanunids and Magonids plotting? Imprison oligarch Astanash the Younger is a warning. Who's she? She... Uh, she's the head of the Magonids, okay, but yeah, I mean, our relations are pretty fine. <laughs> With their relationship means nothing, we can become doomed. Uh huh. Or I will earn the trust and then strike. Uh, we, we are scholar right now. We can become a spy master. I. How are we? Like, it's, let's roleplay this. I'm humble, compassionate. I don't see any problem right now, to be honest. Um, uh, it means nothing. Let's see if we become doomed. It would be a funny plot twist, uh, plot twist in the end, maybe. And Bommelkar becomes... Uh, we need some more civic, so let's actually get the charisma up. Okay. All right, then let's jump right to the front lines in parentheses and probably we have to retreat very soon. All right, you heal and then we can take the city site very soon and we've got our builders over here and we finished what the shrine of Tanit and I Uh, wait, 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 which shrine are we missing? Can we build unlimited shrines here in Kartadasht? We've got Tanit. Uh, let me, let me, I'm a little bit confused right now. We've got Tanit over here. We've got um, Melkart. Melkart. Tanit, so we're missing Eshmoon and Balhamon, right? For adjacent past pastures, is there anything? Oh yeah, here. So let's continue with Balhamon, I would say. Let's not make this unnecessary move. And oh, we've already got this one. All right, I couldn't find it. And we've got the one for the adjacent groves. Is there any groves here in the Carthage area? Um, doesn't look like it, but never mind, we're gonna build it anyways, right? Or here the, the theater. Actually, let's continue with a the theater, it's probably cooler. And this looks a good spot, so I want to extend maybe the Carthage area a little bit over here. So let's build the theater here. So this becomes more of an urban area in general. Yeah, our ships over here, you know... Let's do other things first. Such as she can be get tutored. Um, who is she actually? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're grayed out. They can't be tutored actually. So I've got to do that. And this guy over here. Uh, can they become get tutored several times? No, no. Now it's working, right? Fine. And I. I have an ambassador, yeah, but I don't need a truce with the Libyans, so I actually I'm fine with that. Just maybe let's keep on scouting here the Sardinian coastline. Maybe let's 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 all, like uh, unravel all the map. I think we can afford it. Oh uh oh, and we've already completed the goal since uh, building six shrines. Wonderful. 
shrines to the gods. As desired by the Margulid family, we have enshrined into law our culture's love for many gods, as well as constructed shrines in their honor at multiple Carthaginian cities. Excellent, we are on our way to become a stable nation. Um, we've got coinage, so we can build the market in Carthage, which we need to do. Um, free settler. Actually, let's go for the free settler. Um, I mean, we don't need other stuff that badly, and we have the one city site, and potentially there's another one incoming, so we don't need to build another one. And one year is smooth, uh, so let's take that once. The mongrel. One day on the training grounds, Duke Hishmat notices the lame mongrel begging for scraps. He takes the creature into his care and nurses him back to health. From that point forward, the creature never leaves Hishmat's side. The dog possesses a complete devotion to Hishmat, who turns to you uh, to you for guidance to, uh, on how best to raise the pup. What training do you suggest? Um, Hishmat, Hishmat, our third in line cousin. He's kind of a fighter, right? Tactic student, so... Okay, and then strict rewards of rewards and punishments that new... Yeah, come on, this makes sense. Or wait, as commander, no, he becomes, he should beat and torment the creature for loyalty. All right, he becomes cruel. That makes, he doesn't he look cruel. <laughs> well, let's do that. Commerce studies. Now that Duchess Arishat has completed a study of commerce, uh, how shall she contribute to the court? What role best suits Arishat? By the way, nice painting. I like the ship down here. Looks a little bit massive. I don't know if this really three uh, sails if this really is a thing of a ancient ship uh let me know if you're an expert on an ancient sea uh yeah you know what i'm talking about sailing and shall she become a schemer or an orator i think orator powerful and an influential politician serves us better especially since we also as we want the more civics We've got an uh, and we've got an iron giant. It seems that Prince Caroly has new friend and guardian, Mensa the Numidian, has taken a liking to the child and spends a lot of time talking to him, and he's ever watchful of potential threats. Um who are we talking? Ah my son. Okay. It heartens you to see uh such behavior from the one who has nothing in particular to gain from such an act, and it strikes you as genuine affection. Very good that he is a dotting protector. We should hire Mensa Numidian and make it official. If Mensa the Numidian is going to continue to linger at court, redirect her attention to training our troops in which is more immediate value. Send word to Queen Deha and sing Menya the Numidian praises. No, then let's be gonna hire her. I think that's the easiest and the best at this point, yes. And we are the ambitious. Alright, um, Unfortunately, we're not getting the goal yet. So, which means we just continue with our standard... Yeah, standard ways of, of doing stuff. Boom. And... Good. Five Libya. Final surge. The air weighs heavy with dark haste and solemn triumph as your armies raise the last known settlement of once mighty barbarians. One sturdy building of stone and thatch remains among, among the ruins. Ash underfoot in a thick black smoke overhead, your soldiers approach. As they draw near, weapons ready, a chorus of battle cries emerges from the hut, followed immediately by several fierce warriors, bloodlust in their wild eyes. Huh? Two arms, the fight is not over yet. Uh oh. Holy, they are even manning. Oh, with a little bit of bad luck. I mean. <laughs> uh, sorry for the stupid laughter, but actually we have... We have the potential financials easy to easily bribe them, so actually we're gonna get the Warlord, because I'm a little bit scared that they would take out the Elite Nor uh, Marauder. So we get... yeah. Let's hire this Warlord. Five? Uh, what is it? Like, attack defense five? Movement 2, let's have a look how... It's actually stronger than our warriors. It's a really strong unit. Um, yeah, we can bribe them easily and then we shall see. This time, yeah, we have to get back here just to protect it. It's important. Um, and 
That's kind of it about this. Um, what is this? Another Shrine of Tanit. Now, first off, we built the Shrine of Melkart here to get the adjacency bonus for both nets here. That's very nice to see. Um, here we finalized the Shrine of Melkart for here. Okay. Um, I mean, we don't need the Shrines that badly. So maybe the Odeon here is a good idea. Next to the Hamlet. And we finalized here the Shrine of Balhamon. I mean, we can build the markets now and we... Yeah, we can wait at two years, I think, for the markets to get started. When well, now we finish, then we also finish the Barim task. Yeah, I don't want to just fire things over there just to get it going, you know. So what I think this is a pretty, pretty interesting quarry. So actually, let's get the quarry out. And yeah, we have three movements left. And I think I still yeah, I get to pick a new governor here for Ode Owea. Traders. And I'm always a big fan of the happiness uh, since, you know, this is something you have to always take care and it takes time and makes the city kind of, kind of inefficient if you can't handle it. Um, so in this case, I find uh, Birgit the Equestrian very nice for Oya, which yeah, makes her ideal candidate here. All right, leaves off with one, one more order, uh, but I think we can waste this one and yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, we wanted to scout net not wasted and we have to choose production over here in oea yeah let's improve the i think the growth of the city and get the rancher out all right and then we can jump into the next year get a final search and uh, the, <laughs> the tre treacherous uh warlords uh, Tied by the scientist has two that do just Ari shot, improving a disciplined. Birich, the schema has died. I uh, can't remember actually who that was. And the Queen Dowager died, or the younger, is now head of the Hanonid family. Alright. We've got the free settler, which is very nice. The money we don't need. Um, and since we are a chan. That's a hard decision. I mean, we're still talking, we've got just the goals to achieve and 40 turns, but in a general game. Would we rather be able to hire a chancellor or get the lumber mills out? But we have so much forest still to chop down if necessary, and we have so much money that we could potentially also buy wood. So I think I go for the spoked wheel first. Yes. Tactic studies. Now that Duke Hishmat has completed the study of tactics, how shall we contribute to the court? Um, he was the cruel one, right? Yeah. Bloodthirsty, cruel, um, not a sealet, no, a schemer. Um, I know I want him with the troops, actually, yeah, then he becomes a zealot. Sealet, a persuasive, passionate believer. He looks pretty badass. Himilko, the of Hippo Regis, uh, does he become warlike? No, righteous. That's amazing. We just talked about the happiness, so here, two per year for Hippo Regis in the central lands, definitely what we're gonna take. All right, um, then I think we shall finish this turn. Just wonder who we gonna... Are we gonna do this? Fight those guys down and maybe I'm gonna adding a general. And it might be, it might be Duke Hishmat already since we want him to prove himself. The defense mellows is maybe a little bit dangerous for this unit, but 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 or here counterattack, that's also pretty neat. Healing in neutral territory also very nice. Actually let's get Mensa the Numidian out. Uh, yeah. It's details. And we've got this is the settler, right? So the settler we're gonna definitely send down here. Uh, yeah. Mr. Settler, let's go. Good that we can use the... 
Actually, we're gonna we have so many orders this turn, and we're gonna use the forced march. We have also so much training, so Mr. Settler can continue f even further. Uh, one more forced march. It's, it's just possible once per turn, and it costed us a lot of orders. So basically, just to fire it out. Um. Oh, Leptis Magna. Actually, maybe let's do the other things first, since there's stuff to do over here. So Leptis Magna can get either the mine, whew, very good mine, or the pasture. But we, I want to accelerate the growth a little bit of the young city, which means I can get a new governor out as soon as we next turn. Yeah, and now with the thirty movements, let's nevertheless let's still for. Ah, the force march has been button has already been hit. So okay, here we go. And you can protect the city side for the moment. Wonderful. Which means we are at the end of this year. And I think also that we are for this episode at the end of this uh, for the for this episode. Um, yeah, I don't have to necessarily extend since we have only a few for this scenario left. So um, yeah, this was a definitely an interesting one. We saw the end of the Libyans, and uh, despite this last surge over here, I'm pretty optimistic to fight this down quickly. Or yeah, at least not too long. And yeah, I'm very excited or interested. It's going to be very interesting what the last goal is going to be. We shall see together. Uh, let me know what you think. If you like this one, please leave me a like and a subscription. If you haven't yet, it still keeps on motivating me a lot and helps the channel a lot and doesn't cost you anything. So thank you very much for this. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any comments, um, uh, your comments are always very much welcome. And But also, if you don't, um, I'm happy to see you next time in the next episode. Bye. Your Strategy Wolf.